Hey, what's up, you guys? Freak here. I am on the floor of a hotel room. There's cars right next to me, and there's a radiator right behind me, making me warm and cozy because this room is fucking freezing. Anyways, by the way, yeah, I got snake bites now. Today, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of past background tendencies for me. And so, yeah. Growing up, I never really had that many friends. I wasn't bullied or anything, I just didn't feel like I had that many friends. And the friends that I did have literally, like, was weak time friends. But oh yes, I moved to Canberra down a bit. Like, let's say I hung out with one group of people one week, the next week they wouldn't even talk to me. So during my childhood, I pretty much realized I would probably end up alone. This led me to always be prepared for when I would have to eventually let go of friends. I then made friends with a group of people from England, most of which are on this channel now. And because of this constant, like, idea in the back of my head that I would end up alone, I decided to make my mind up and young, very young, I decided I wanted to become a drifter. A shadow, if you will. Staying in one place, but never long enough for anyone to actually notice me. And that was where my mind was constantly heading that way, and I, for quite some time, just wanted to leave. I then met a group of friends who I thought highly of. Most of our memories are still on my channel, and I won't delete them because this is my channel and I do whatever the fuck I want. If any one of them ever messages me asking me to remove the videos for any reason that they may have, I'm just gonna say no. It's my channel, I post what I want, and I keep what I want uploaded. That's why some stuff may vanish and others won't. Out of these friends, there was actually one girl for some time I had a crush on. By the way, it's difficult for me to talk because my lips fall, because of the snake bites. Anyways, she didn't feel the same, and after a while, I found another girl that I actually thought I would end up with. But my dream and knowledge hadn't changed. I knew very well that eventually I would have to let go of these people because they would let go of me. Because that's always in the back of my head. And so my dream was still to just leave. That girl ended up breaking my heart, and now I'm in a relationship. I've been in this relationship for a year, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. She's the reason I keep traveling down here. She's the reason I keep wanting to travel down here. She's the reason I want to move here now. And the scariest thing is, without realizing it, I've changed my biggest dream because of her. My dream now isn't to just live here for a home base. My dream is to stay here with her forever. Right now I can't do that, but that doesn't mean I don't want to. I rate her so highly amongst everyone I know, and some people may not like being in second place to her, but I don't care. I may have lost people I thought I was friends with because of her, but I don't care. And I don't care because she's the only person that made me realize that I don't need to be alone. She changed my life, and in some ways I've saved it. I can't save my hair though, nothing can save my hair. My hair need saving and it's not from her it's from someone with lots and lots of scissors and time but anyways as always thank you guys so much for watching as always remember to leave a like if you really enjoyed comment down below if you're in a relationship what is one thing your significant other has given you that you value so much for me it's a bracelet my girlfriend gave me and if you're not in a relationship what is one thing that you want to give your significant other that you hope they'll value higher than anything else anyways subscribe if you're new i make new videos every single friday every single week and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Until then, take care and peace.